Hello, I'm Warren Fay. I'm a folklorist and performer of Australian bush songs and songs from the city. One of the most significant areas of Australia's folk ballad tradition is those songs that were composed and circulated at the time that Australia was first settled. And it was settled as a penal colony, a giant jail, to take the effluent of Mother England. 150,000 males and approximately 25,000 females, some of them young girls, and in the case of the men, young boys, as aged uh, as young as nine, were sent out here for some 268 different offences where transportation was the court's decision. There's a whole body of very dramatic songs. One of the most dramatic is the ballad of Morton Bay, which is set to an old Irish tune, said to be written this song by one Francis McNamara, also known as Frank the Poet, who also wrote The Convict's Tour of Hell, and possibly Boljack Donoghue. McNamara, in this song, if he wrote it, celebrates the death of one of the cruelest of all the military commanders, and that was Captain Logan of Moreton Bay. And Moreton Bay was considered to be one of the worst destinations you could be sent to because of Logan. The other hated uh, prisons were Port Arthur in Tasmania and Norfolk Island. In both of those two last ones, men had to work up to their midriff in icy cold water underground digging for um, mercury, which they used at the time to cure syphilis. So here's the song, Morton Bay. <laughs> Of suffering, may they 
One of the uh, worst treatments that the convicts received was that of the Cat of Nine Tales, and there was one incident of a young man, only 20, called Patrick Galvin, or Paddy Galvin, who was flogged at Goulburn, and the records show that uh, he was sentenced to receive 300 lashes of the Cat of Nine Tail, and it seriously did reduce them, their backs to a red jelly. The uh, convicts displayed probably the earliest sense of the Australian humour by referring to it as receiving a new red shirt. When Galvin was whipped with the cat of nine tails, he got 100 lashes on his back, 100 on his buttock, and the other 100 was administered on the back of his legs. Throughout the entire flogging, according to the records, he did not utter one single sound or moan. His skin was reduced to a red jelly, and when they finally took him off, he spat in the eye of the flogger and said, you couldn't hit hard enough to kill a butterfly, and then he collapsed. And then what they used to do is they used to cover their backs with salt, which must have been terrifying, but of course this stopped the blood from flowing and dried it up. It was Lachlan Macquarie, one of the governors of New South Wales, that probably had the best comment on the convict system. He said, Australia was full of people who were transported for crime and those that should have been. <laughs>